In this video, we're going to have an overview of designing your customer avatar. The goal behind this video is simply to share with you some of the considerations that you may want to think about when it comes to actually designing your customer avatar. So the first thing is, my name's Kev, welcome to the Systemize Your Business YouTube channel, where I help entrepreneurs just like you take action, scale their businesses, automate businesses, and ultimately systemize businesses. So if this is the first time seeing me, please hit that subscribe button, please give it a big thumbs up, really appreciate it. So the first thing to, to note when we're talking about a customer avatar, you wanna think about who, who it is that you're actually talking to, okay? So who, I'm just gonna put a smiley face right there. So whenever you're creating a product or a service, you're gonna to want to think about as, as, as deeply as you possibly can on who it is that you're actually speaking to and trying to attract to you. You're going to want to know so much about that person. In many ways, with your product and service, you want to actually know this person more than you they, they potentially know themselves, okay? I know that sounds a little bit odd, but you're going to want to really design who it is that you're trying to target. Depending on what your business is, whether it's in health and fitness, whether it is in you, you just in education, whether you've got a service of some, some kind, you're going to want to, a part of your brand, a part of your business, you're going to want to think about who this is. Very specifically, is it male? Is it, are they female? Are they, what age are they? Are they um, sort of, are they young adults? Are they older adults? Are they, are they mothers? Are they fathers? Do they work full time? What, who is it that you're actually speaking to? And one of the things that I found to be really, really powerful is actually have your customer avatar and actually give them a name, right? Actually give them a, a sort of a, a name badge. So it kind of, for you, so you know who you're trying to serve, whether it's Tracy, whether it's Phil, Whatever it is, give them a name and you can say, okay, I know Phil, I know Tracy. And then what you can do, once you've given them a name and, and sort of given them the, the sort of fundamentals of, are they sort of male, are they female, you know, their, their age, whereabouts they are in their lives. Depending on what your product and service is, just get a bit of a general, and then what you can start to do is you can start to actually dig down much deeper into developing the customer avatar. So there's a few things to think about. The first thing is really goals, okay? If you think about anybody that wants to do any type of business with anybody, you re they've, they've, got a, they've got a goal, right? It could be an entertainment goal, it could be a problem that they're trying to serve, it's some type of goal of theirs. But what we do is we dig down much deeper into what the meaning of goals really, really, what, what we can break goals into. And if you think about it, it's gonna come down to desires, okay, what people are trying to move towards, and fears, what people are trying to move away from, okay? So there's some people that are, if you think of all the, the, the major experiences, the desires, there's so many desires out there, everything from uh, people want to make money or people want to um, be out of pain or people want to have some type of experience of some sort, freedom, it, whatever it is, you want to list as many desires as you can for your customer avatar. So if you're watching this, for me, I know my desires in, in Phil or Tracy is going to be, you want, you've got a business that you want to systemize and scale. You want to uh, optimize your marketing. You want to reach the right clients. You want to have raving fans. You want to have those dream clients. You don't want to have those, those customers that, that you, you, they're just taking so much of your energy. You love working with them, right? So. I, I know that that is something that you're looking for. Freedom, automation, you know, time with your loved ones, your, your children, opportunity. Uh, you want to have a business of, of staff members and grow. They're your desires. Fears, when you think of fears, many times it's like the opposite, right? It's the opposite. You, you want to, you don't want to be overwhelmed. 
You don't want to be, you don't want to have like a job that you're chained to, that you tackled, you know, that you, you chain tackled to. Um, you don't want to have a scenario where you don't have enough money or freedom or whatever your fears ultimately are that it, some, this, there is some deeper fears, okay? And that's why on the surface, when you think about desires and fears, this is like sort of surface based, okay? Surface based. These are the ones that when you're talking or when your customer avatar is talking, they're going to say that to people. They're going to say, yeah, I want to have freedom. I want to have opportunity. I want to be able to grow my business. I want to hire staff. These are all desires that are surface based that they're willing to share with people. But there's also, there's also desires and fears that go beneath the surface. Okay, this is now a deeper desire, a deeper fear. So these are like, uh, you can call them deeper, you can call them sort of secret, okay, secret desires, secret fears. These are desires that they're not going to tell anybody. So when you think of desires, of course they're going to say, yeah, I want to have some freedom, I want to have some opportunity, but when you think of desires that want to be, you want to be rich. You want to have some money. You want to, um, maybe society has uh, said that you, sh you shouldn't be materialistic, but they want secretly, they love to have the best stuff. They love to have the, um, the money to be able to buy nice things and have a nice car and have a nice house, travel well, go to the best restaurants and go to the best hotels. These are like, Secret desires that they're not just going to go out and tell everybody. I want to be rich. I want to have a, a huge yacht and things. Because it's more, that's going to attract potentially their fear, right? A secret fear, more of a deeper fear of they don't want to have that, the fear of rejection, right? They don't want to lose money. They don't want, they don't want to lose their loved ones. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to, whatever it is. They're going to have sort of deeper desires and deeper fears. And this is a great way of really understanding your customer avatar at a much deeper level. Really understanding where they are on their journey right now. So what you want to do is if you think about their journey over time, you want to think about at what point you are coming into their life. Okay, and then what their goal is, those desires, getting away from those fears. And then you can start to see what actions they have to take. And this is why it's so important to sort of know your customer avatar maybe more than they know themselves because they may have not experienced this in the future. As they start to take action over weeks and months, they might not know what this looks like. They may not know what that looks like. They may not know what that looks like. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to provide massive amounts of value. Okay, this is what business is, is all about. It's about exchanging value, being super, super um, um, you know, valuable to your customer avatar. And then you can actually um, speak to them at a much deeper level that like you understand them and they start to build ultimately trust with you understanding with you and then you can actually start to become really quite creative and this is where then the um, innovation comes in this is where the creativity comes in for you where you start to actually um, go in deeper in terms of okay these are products and services that I could potentially create these are um, lead magnets that I could potentially give to help somebody take action on this road does this make sense? If it does, comment down below, let me know. And my name's Kev, and um, I wanted just to create this sort of introductory sort of video on uh, customer avatars so you're fully aware of what sort of process that you may want to go in and um, what you may want to do. So get a piece of paper out and start listing this from desires to fears, secret desires, secret fears, and start to understand them so you know who you're talking to. So. When you've got your person on screen, let me scroll through. One more page. Here we go. 
Um, you know exactly who it is. Give them a name. You need to know, you know, if they're a male, female, whereabouts they are in their lives. Are they mother? Are they father? They got children? Are they working full time? Whereabouts are they in the terms of their age? Whereabouts are they in terms of their business journey or their personal journey? And then you can start to actually get a bit more clarity on the different ideas of content and the different ideas of what they may be searching for that will allow you to actually find them. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one. If you've got any comments down below, please do let me know. Um, I will expand onto this and give you more uh, versions of this if it's something that you, that you want. But my name's Kev. Welcome to the Systemize Your Business YouTube channel. Please hit that subscribe button. Please give it a big thumbs up and I'll put more videos right here for you to uh, go a little bit more deeper into systemizing your business. But this, from a marketing point of view, has to be one of the first things that you, you're going to look at doing. So take care, take massive action, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.